Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm a science instructor at Driftwood Education Center. Today we're going to be talking about a very important creature for Georgia's coast, the white shrimp. As primary consumers, which means they eat producers like algae and plankton, white shrimp are at the base of the food web. They feed larger consumers in their area, such as sea bass and crabs. For this reason, shrimp are an important link in the food web. They ensure that algae and plankton populations don't bloom like crazy, and the sea bass and crab populations get a good meal. Shrimp are very important for our economy. Here on Georgia's coast, the white shrimp is a bestseller. In 2016, $5.9 million alone were made by selling Georgian shrimp. One of the biggest concerns in shrimping, however, is bycatch. Bycatch are any animals caught in a shrimping net that aren't shrimp, which is pretty easy to do considering how big the nets are and how slow moving the boats go. One of the biggest problems with bycatch are slow moving turtles. And since every sea turtle on Georgia's coast is endangered, this is a huge issue. But that problem was reduced by almost one fourth by implementing a TED. No, not that TED. That TED, a turtle excluder device. But while you're here, Ted, would you mind demonstrating how this works? Sure. So the device is attached to just above the bottom of the net, and it uses a grill that looks just like this. When turtles and other large fish hit this grill, they are guided out of the net safely through a hole and into the water. And the shrimp, which are smaller, poorer swimmers, are pushed past the grill farther into the net, ensuring their capture. Anyway, thanks for all your help today, Ted. Where should we um, get this? I gotta go. There's lots of reasons that we're grateful that shrimp exist, but let's talk about how they live their lives. Dissection is an essential part of scientific discovery. When scientists dissect, they get to learn a lot more about their organism. For example, its lifestyles, the impacts humans have on them, and also how their bodies work, which could help us learn how our bodies work. Dissection is essential, but so is respecting your specimen. You need to always remember that if you're doing a dissection. So here we have one of those famous white shrimps of the Golden Isles. First off, shrimp are part of a classification of animals called arthropods. All arthropods are invertebrates, meaning they have no backbone and they have jointed appendages. They also have segmented bodies and a hard exoskeleton. This exoskeleton provides support and protection, but as these creatures grow, they'll actually have to shed and replace these exoskeletons in a process called molting. Shrimp are actually pretty talented at swimming backwards, and that's due to their tail fin. As you can see, it actually houses two different appendages. It has the telson and the uropods. The antennas here are used for sensing its environment. These guys are what we call benthic, which means they move around exclusively along the bottom of the ocean. Other benthic animals include hermit crabs and flounder. Shrimp and crabs need these antennae to sense what's around them because of the dark, murky water. Shrimp have compound eyes, which means that they have many tiny little lenses inside their eyes that create a lot of different images. This helps them get a wider field of view than humans have. If you look right here, you can see that we found the shrimp's gills. This is the organ responsible for giving shrimp the oxygen that its body needs. When immersed in water, the gills fan out to increase surface area so they can get as much oxygen as possible. Here, we have removed the shrimp's exoskeleton to get a better look at some of the internal anatomy. When people eat shrimp, they often eat it deveined, which means that they remove this black part of the shrimp. But that's actually not a vein at all. It's actually the shrimp's intestines, and it's black because it's filled with the food that the shrimp likes to munch on around here to gain plant matter, also called detritus. Here at Driftwood, we don't like to waste anything. So now that we're done with our dissection, we'll use our specimen to feed some of our larger fish. In fact, our sheep's head fish loves munching on shrimp like this. One of the biggest dangers to our worldwide shrimp population is overfishing. This issue affects many different oceanic species. Overfishing endangers the complex food web that we mentioned earlier, and it threatens our biodiversity. We have created more rigorous policies to reduce overfishing. That includes the creation of marine protection areas. These marine protected areas have done a lot to help out, but we're not finished yet. If you're interested in helping, research the marine protected areas around you. Wow, we've done a lot of talking about some pretty small arthropods. Now don't be shellfish. And keep all this new information to yourself. You can also learn more by coming here to Driftwood and taking some of our ocean motion classes, transit trawl classes, or sailing classes, and see what you can discover in our coastal classroom.
Be sure to check our Facebook page again next Thursday for our next environmental video. We'll see you there.